Hello and welcome to a new video, TJ English Golf. Today's video, I would like to share with you a couple of mistakes, English mistakes that my students make that make me cringe. Because they're basic mistakes which are being corrected over and over again and for some reason, some people don't get it. So, six mistakes and how to fix them. Mistake number one, he do. This is a very typical one, and I hope you recognize very quickly what it should be. He do is, well, he is naturally the third person singular, and therefore in the conjugation, we need an S. I understand why this one is more complicated, because everything else is do, so why not stick to he do? It goes automatically, and I understand that. But please be careful with this mistake. Number two, that makes me cringe, is more easy. Yeah, I hear that one quite a bit. And for some reason, it it just sticks. Um, I think it has something to do with the fact that in Spanish, naturally, you only have más. Uh, you don't really conjugate adjectives like we do in English. So what should it be? Well, of course, easier, because easy has two syllables, ends in Y, and the Y is replaced by I-E-R. Mistake number three, double negatives. Yeah, that one happens quite a lot as well. Um, it makes me cringe a bit less than some of the others on this list, but because in Spanish double negatives are permitted, um, it is easy to translate literally and make uh, everything else double negative as well. No conozco a nadie. I don't know nobody. Don't being negative and nobody being negative. So what should it be? I don't know anybody. Anybody, keep in mind, is not negative. Number four, I'm in my desk. Yeah, I love that one. I always ask people how painful it is. Uh, because if you're in your desk, that means that there's a hole in your desk and you're inside that hole. Of course, right now, I am seated at my desk. I'm also not seated on my desk, my laptop is on my desk, but I am seated at my desk. In means that something is inside. So for example, I am in my office. So what should it be? At my desk. Number five, he, she mistakes. I don't know why this keeps on happening, but so many people and so many of my students keep on mixing it up. Um, my brother, her girlfriend, I thought you had a brother and not a sister. I think this doesn't really happen on purpose, but it is something that I think with a little bit of attention, you could solve quite quickly. So be careful of that one. And then the last one, number six. I'm agree. Estoy de acuerdo. I'm agree. In English, to agree is a verb in its own right. So I can agree with you. Whereas in Spanish, you need, of course, the verb. So in English, we just agree or we disagree. Both are sim similar, of course. Which one of these mistakes do you make? Comment below. I'm very curious to hear what you say. Don't forget to practice.